So, yeah, the students, y'all just. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining me for uh, this uh, news availability. And I want to draw attention to the fact that this is the first time that Computer Science Education Week has been nationally kicked off here in Arkansas. Now, to put this in perspective, in 2014, the kickoff for National Computer Science Week uh, was done in the White House with President Obama. Uh, the following year, it was done on the New York Stock Exchange, and then it was done in Canada with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. It's been done in Seattle, but we're bringing it here this week, right here to Arkansas. We're grateful for this national recognition of our leadership. The opportunity, though, to showcase computer science and the importance of it nationwide. And so today, uh, I'm joined by uh, Hadi Partovi, uh, CEO of Code.org, who was one of our major presenters today. Uh, we have Secretary Johnny Key with our State Department of Education, Secretary. Uh, Anthony Owen, our Director of Computer Science, who's helped coordinate the event today. Uh, but then I uh, will be introducing uh, shortly uh, Jen Rosado, uh, Director of the National Center of Computer Science Education, who will officially launch this National Computer Science Week. And then also Leland Bowen, Outreach Manager of Code.org, will have an important announcement shortly as well. <clears throat> but before, I wanted to just let you know a little bit of the discussions today. We have 22 different states that have come to this national kickoff. Uh, we have had panels that have represented state policymakers in education. We've had national leaders in different computer science initiatives and programs, and then we've also had student panels. And uh, that probably was one of the most exciting. And uh, we have three students here that's joined us. Uh, we have uh, Caden Cash, uh, senior at Conway High. We have Lamaya Crutchfield of Bryant High School. And then we have Sarah Humphreys, uh, sophomore of Lake Hamilton High. They were all on the panel. We learned from them. Would each of you just come to the microphone Introduce yourself, please. Tell them, tell them quickly why you took computer science. Hi, I'm Lamaya Crutchfield. I go to Bryant High School and I'm a senior. Um, I took computer science because I really liked the concept. It was basically like a puzzle to me, so I was really interested in solving all the issues that I could find. Hi, my name is Sarah Humphreys, and I chose to take computer science because I like the problem solving aspect of it and, you know, using that problem solving to create something really cool. Hey, my name is Caden Cash. I also love the problem solving aspect of it. I love breaking problems down into smaller ones and just, you know, getting my goal completed. Thank you, and let me make uh, just a couple additional points that many of you have followed our development of computer science education here in Arkansas. And whenever we first started out in 2015, I made the point that only 10% of the high schools uh, all across the nation offered computer science. That was statistic in 2015. Well, today, that has moved to 51% of the schools in the United States now offer computer science. That is a success story, and it's because of this national computer science emphasis and emphasizing uh, National Computer Science Week. Today, we have talked about the continued equity gap or the gender gap, <coughs> excuse me, in uh, computer science and how we need to continue to work to make sure it's available to everyone and that we meet their needs in the classroom. With that, let me turn the microphone over, as I indicated, to uh, Jen Rosada for her comments uh, and announcement. 
Thank you, Governor Hutchinson. Um, I first want to start by commending the governor on his leadership efforts in Arkansas. I hope the progress here can serve as a catalyst um, in my home state of Minnesota, where we are currently ranked last in the nation in terms of number of high schools that offer computer science courses and um, kind of catalyze us towards moving, moving forward towards more equitable and sustainable computer science education. So as Governor Hutchinson said, I'm General Sato. I'm the director of the National Center for Computer Science Education. I'm here today though because I am chair of Computer Science Education Week Committee. Um, CS Ed Week is celebrated each year during the week of Admiral Grace Murray Hopper's birthday. She was a pioneer in computing, having invented the first um, compiler for programming languages, but she may be best known for coining the term bug when she removed a moth from a computer program. Uh, so CS Ed Week was launched as a call to action to raise awareness about the need for computer science education at all levels, including for K-12 students such as these. Um, CS Ed Week is a community-led effort. Um, this year it's organized by Computer Science Teachers Association, CSTA. This year's committee members include Code.org, cs for all the Expanding Computing Education Pathways Alliance, and the CAPER Center. This year's theme is Computer Science is Everywhere, reflecting our shared reality that computer science has an impact on all of, all of us, from everything in politics to shopping, um, from rural farms to urban transit centers. Next week, each day of Computer Science Education Week will include a free online event um, hosted by these partners, designed to help raise awareness of computer science education in your community. You can learn more about computer science heroes. Um, you can find activities to use in your classroom um, and how to advocate with state and district leaders. I really encourage you to learn more about CS Ed Week events and to um, see how you can impact change in your local community. Thank you. Thank you. And now, uh, introduce Leland Bowen, Outreach Manager for Code.org, for an important announcement. Thank you, Governor Hutchinson. Good afternoon, everyone. Like the Governor just said, my name is Leolyn Bowen, and I am an Outreach Manager for Code.org. So Code.org believes that every student in every school has that, should have the opportunity to learn computer science. Through our free online curriculum, students get an opportunity to take part in creating technology that will solve problems in their communities and in the world. We have courses in elementary, middle, and high school, including AP Computer Science Principles and AP Computer Science A. To prepare teachers to implement our courses and curriculum, Code.org has a network of regional partners across the country who offer our, our professional learning programs. Although we have regional partners in almost every single state, we haven't had a regional partner here in Arkansas previously because, frankly, Arkansas didn't need us. Arkansas has been a lighthouse state for computer science education policy since 2015 with dedicated resources and their team of statewide computer science specialists supporting teachers new to computer science. But now, with the passage of Act 414 requiring all students to take CS, there is an opportunity to leverage the resources of Arkansas and Code.org to further expand high-quality computer science opportunities to every single student across the state. So I'm here to announce today that the Arkansas Computer Science and Computing Initiative has joined a nationwide network to expand access to K-12 computer science as the newest Code.org regional partner. As, this part, as part of this partnership, the Arkansas State CS Specialist will work with districts and school leaders and teachers across the state to provide training to Arkansas teachers in Code.org's curriculum, including AP Computer Science Principles. Our curriculum is designed for students and teachers new to computer science and to engage and inspire students from groups currently underrepresented in computer science, including female students, black, Hispanic, Latinx, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander, and Native American students. This new partnership will enable the Arkansas Computer Science and Computing Initiative to leverage code.org resources to support teachers and students throughout the school year. And by joining our nationwide network of partners, Arkansas will be able to share and learn best practices with other states. We are incredibly excited about this partnership excuse me, and what it will mean for Arkansas students over the coming years. Thank you. And thank you. That deserves a round of applause. Thank you. And Anthony Owen emphasized that we, as our tradition, will be having a series of announcements through the course of 
this next week uh, emphasizing the importance of computer science in our state and our nation. And with that, uh, I want to invite uh, any questions uh, from the media. If you have any questions, we can make uh, these other partners available to you. Are there any uh, questions other than what we've covered? All right, I, th I know that, uh, and they'll be available for uh, site interviews as needed. Uh, with that, uh, Anthony, uh, I'm going to turn the program back to you. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Governor Hutchinson, and thank you to the 22 states plus Washington, D.C. that joined us today for these events. I want to thank everyone here on the stage, uh, especially my, my friends from Code.org uh, and all the other national entities who have helped put Arkansas on the map. Um, we couldn't have done this without Go Governor Hutchinson's leadership and his vision, but we also couldn't have gotten it amplified to the point that we have without these national partners, so I appreciate them so much. Thank you, Secretary Key, for your leadership, and thank you all for attending. Hope you all had a great time in Arkansas. Please don't be a stranger. <laughs>